Hi, this is Julian. Uh, what I'm going to do in this video is something that I haven't seen on YouTube, so I figured I'll just, you know, do this video and maybe help some people out if they come across it. I guess uh, I'll get started. Okay, here's the situation. Um, I've got, I have Windows Vista, and I noticed a while ago that my music folder you know, it used to have an icon, you know, like a, I think it was like a CD with a, a music note on it. But as you can see now, it's just a regular folder, like this folder, for example, and or even this one, actually. In fact, now that I think about it, this one needs to be changed. Anyway, the purpose of this video is to show you how to change this, you know, generic folder back to what it used to be. You know, like this, for example, or even that, um, or hell, even... Uh, the, the videos folder, which you can't see on the screen right now anyway, but um, you get the idea. Alright, so this is how we do it. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is open up your notepad, which I have here. And the, the, basically the, what we're doing is we're, we're going to ch be changing the uh, desktop.ini uh, file that's in the folder. Because, uh, you know, chances are, if you're like me, you know, you've been putting a bunch of different, um, uh, you know, MP3s or WAV files or whatever into that folder, and uh, somewhere along the line, something got mixed up in that uh, desktop.ini folder or its file got changed somehow. So, like I said, what we're going to do is we're just going to simply change it back to what it used to be. All right. So, uh, first step is to open up your a uh, Notepad, and uh, hopefully you you guys know how to do that. We'll go to File. We'll go Open. And let's see here. And what we're going to do is manually type it in. Remember, this is a Vista. I'm not sure if it's if it this works for um, XP or not. Um, but what we're going to do is type in the file that we we'll need to open, which is desktop. Oops. Dot ini. And there it is. And then we'll just do open. So here is my particular desktop. ini folder it's all this. <clears throat> We're going to change all this, but what I like to do, just because I'm that way, is um, I'm going to back this up just in case something goes wrong. That way I'll have, you know, the backup to uh, restore it. So, first thing I'm going to do before I change any of this is save this. So I'm going to go, you know, click file, go to save as, and I'm going to save this as desktop.ini.bak for backup. All right. Once that and save it in you know the same folder in this case music, which is what I'm doing now. So I'm going to save it. All right. Now let's close this. Okay. We'll open up Notepad again. All right. Now we'll open the same file, and you'll notice here's the backup that we just created. We're going to open up open up that same file desktop.ini just that open okay so here's all that stuff again like I said we're just gonna simply uh, change change all this crap back to um, I'm guessing it was the default settings or you know default text uh, we're gonna highlight everything and then we'll just simply paste and this is what you're gonna be pasting now all this stuff is gonna be in the more info so if you uh, need help remembering what it is it'll be right there for you to you know copy and, and um, you can do whatever you whatever you want with it. Okay, so once we're done pasting, we'll go save. And let's see here. Did it save? Yeah, it saved. Okay, so I'll close it. That should do it. I'll just refresh my screen. Yeah, it's still there. Oops, hold on a second. I think I uh, saved it. Desktop. Okay. Uh, okay. Still this way, but I think it's because um, it <laughs> you won't see the effect until you either close out of this or uh, um, restart your computer. Let me see what happens if I close out of it. I'll open this up again. Still that way.
Okay, uh, Julian again. <laughs> All right, uh, I was right. Uh, you do have to restart your computer. But you know what's funny is that I don't remember having to do that the first time I did this. You know when I when I saw how how to change it back. Um, I don't know. But what's funny is, is you know I obviously did this a couple times before I decided to make the video. What's funny is that those times <laughs> I had to restart it then too. Weird. Um, anyway. All right. So yeah, just restart your computer go back into your documents folder and then you'll see there it is music it's got the CD and the the music note so so that's it alright any questions just go ahead and um, put a comment down I'll, I'll, I'll try to answer it out